Arda? Oh, good, you're not asleep yet. Uh, uh, right. Uh, did you see the uh, courier run back out? No, I must have been normal me. What's wrong? Um, a letter from Cayman. He never sends letters, and... Uh, what does it say? Um, Arden, our lady will be waiting for you in solitude provided things have calmed down. We found the item. She has it in case I don't come back. Something came up. Family matters is not ours. Contract. Time sensitive. Need to do it before it's too late. It may already be. If I'm not back in three days, assume the worst. Keep moving. Tell Cold if she asks, but don't worry her if, not, if unnecessary. It'd be brief. Stay safe, Mephologatus. Arden, you're shaking. W would you expect me to be steady after reading something like that? Arden. Deep breaths. That's the worst thing I could possibly do right now, you realize. You have a potion in your bag somewhere, right? <laughs> Healing isn't going to- Look, I dealt with Cayman in close quarters for three days back in the middle of Hearthfire. I know what kind of potion I'm talking about. I- Arden. Drink it or bite me. Either one. You're shaking. You're frantic. I'm afraid for you. For me, not of me. No dodging this time. Pick one. There. Now, just breathe for a moment. You are standing way too close for breathing to be a productive thing right now. Seriously, if it's that bad, bite me. I eat dragon souls for breakfast. I can handle a little blood loss. No, it's... Not that bad, I... Gods. Okay. Progress. You're not shaking anymore. Now, yeah, that was kind of an alarming note, but we don't know when he sent it. We were down there for at least two days, kiddo. You know, if he... I... I can't think straight. <laughs> um, I hate to break it to you, but... I hate you so much. <laughs> Thank you. You were worse than you thought. I was. You say you've never bitten anyone except for one time. How long have you been a vampire? I... Well, it's about a week? No. Uh, maybe a month? Not quite that long. Oh. So this is still really new. Yeah. I'm sure I'll come around eventually, but it's still very new. Um, <laughs> I keep biting my tongue while I'm speaking, and it's obnoxious. All right. Well, now that we're not panicking anymore, he said something about a lady in solitude? Lady Serana, I assume. Makes sense she'd be there instead of the castle, since the father is kind of... Uh, long story. So we'll head to solitude, then. We can take a boat so we don't have to run the whole way. And I can tell you about this weird ladder that I found. I think it has something to do with that Dwemer cube thing. How does that sound? I may in fact sleep in the boat if I can manage. I'm a smidge worried about navigation on the ocean in the dark, so... Good point. Alright then. Put your hood up and let's go. Or do you need another minute or two to recover? No, it's... I'm fine. It's settling, I'm... Still, well, I'm not great, but I'll manage. All right, let's go then. Well, I can honestly say I'm getting better at this fog thing. Mm-hmm. Seems pretty fog-like to me. I'm actually surprised I did as well as I did with my brain entirely, you know, mush and whatnot. You holding up all right? Physically? Sure. A little sluggish. I'm worried. I don't blame you. Come on, let's get out of the sun.
Did I just hear a sheep? <laughs> oh, oh, that's nice. Oh, the uh, dangling storm cloak. Mm-hmm. How long has that been there? Uh, I don't know. I saw it the last couple of times I came through this way, so. A while would be my guess. Seems the war is getting worse. I wish I could say that I was at all surprised by this. What makes you say that? Uh, grew up with it. What? War? My father was a soldier. Was. And the Battle of the Red Ring concluded when I was eight. I'll let you put those pieces together. Oh. He was a... he was a legionnaire. Indeed he was. Proud one. Good one. Um... Makes me a little bit... Chagrined that I became a mage instead. But... I suppose, you know, I don't exactly have a whole lot of battle prowess myself. Or didn't. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Hey, <laughs> hey, the last time I was here, I walked out with my shield. Your shield? You got that here? Um... Yeah. You know, I've been meaning to ask you about that. What, the... This? Yeah. Uh, in the city. You wanna check into the Winking Skeever or something? Make sure... Uh, Lady... Serena is there? Serana? Uh... You start walking, I'll... Give it some thought. You know, I... Right, I was going to ask you about your shield. I might as well do that on the way to wherever you're going. Uh, Bard's College. Okay, lead the way. That... Uh... That shield you... Carry bears a striking resemblance to the one that was. Well, supposedly the one that reappeared in Cyrodiil during the Oblivion Crisis, which supposedly was. Palinor Whitestrake's shield. Dare I ask how you came by such an artifact? Need something? I think I need to stop walking backwards. Um... Heh, <laughs> boy, this is gonna sound perfectly nuts. Lay it on me. I'm, uh... I've probably heard weirdest. <laughs> I am from the College of Whispers originally. And, uh, we have necromancers. Fair. Sorry, just wanted to stop somewhere that wasn't directly in the middle of the sun. The lavender. Um... Uh, there's a... There's a... Crypt? In the Temple of the Divines up there. I... This does not surprise me in the slightest. This is a temple. And this is, I guess, an imperialish city? Um... I didn't know about that crypt until I had a vision quest, and I believe Kine was the cause of it. But she sent me all around hither and yon, and mostly yon. 
Um, nearly froze to death. That was fun. Uh, uh, kidding. Um, the shield was in the crypt. And... You alright? Mm-hmm. I'm... Trying to figure out how much I want to tell you. Because... I haven't ever heard of something like this happening before. Should we get out of the flow of traffic, perhaps? Yeah, I was... I was just thinking that same thing. You're a historian, right? Al ar archaeologist thing? Uh, suppose I could be considered an art historian. Do you... How much do you know about Pelinal White Strike? I'm an art historian from Cyrodiil. How much do you think I know about Pelinal White Strike? Uh. Jeez. <coughs> that guy looks like he's seen some. My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? God, you <laughs> Here. Let's talk over here, where it's more or less quiet, although that's a little disconcerting. Um... Right, uh, I assume you know quite a bit about Pelina Whitestrake, probably more than I do, and at this point I feel like I know more than I should about him. Uh, this isn't some weird Mythic Dawn-style cult is it? Uh... No? What's the mythic dawn? Oh, dear Mara. It's, uh, okay. Ob oblivion crisis. Um... There was just a... a research it. Just... I... You, you're a bard. You've got a library. I... We're talking about White Strike, correct? Um... Yeah. Mm. Uh, I attract people. Anyway. I'm... It sounds... Really, really, really weird. But... I sometimes get visions, I guess. Um, and in the crypt when I saw his- they've got, like, his whole set of armor up there. Minus the tabard, I don't know where that ended up. But, as well as Chrysomir and- his mace, the name of which I've since forgotten. But you know the name of his sword. Yeah. Interesting. What exactly are you This is an ode to Skyrim's staunch asking me. The Imperials. Never mind. You should probably go check in with Serana. You sure? Yeah, I've got to find Viarmo before he wanders off anyway. All right. Take care of yourself, okay? Yeah, I'll see you soon. I'm such an idiot. I should just 
talk to him. Need something? <laughs> yeah, I need to get out of my own way. Now where... did I miss him? I did. <laughs> and this is what you get for being slow, I guess. Hey, question. That damn fool. I should wring her neck. Uh, whose neck? Lorena. That fool student of mine stole my flute and sold it to some necromancer. Uh. I just got a ransom note for it. That flute has been handed down for 17 generations. Well, don't just stand there. Go get my flute! Uh, uh, why would a necromancer want your flute? Apparently, Lorena told him some story about the flute being able to make the dead dance. It's just a flute. A really old and valuable flute, but just a flute. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Always good to see a fellow bard. Yeah, speaking of fellow bards, where? Never mind. He might be down here. Yes, Viermo. Ah, good to see you. Um. So, I found this in with a bunch of other similar documents, and I was curious as to your involvement, mostly in the war. Are you? Like, uh, what do you do exactly? Uh, not much, but as a bard, I find the whole affair depressing. There are no heroes in this war, no winners to be had, and no real conclusion. If you want something a bard can dig into, look to the dragons. A thousand years from now, Skyrim will have changed rulers dozens of times. But the return of the dragons, that story is once in an era. What do you know about the dragons? Not much, to be honest. Their return was a shock to us all. Gerard Germain has some tomes about them in the library, if you're interested. Thanks. I'll... Pardon me, but I trust you've been working on your poem. I'll hold on to this for you, if that's okay. Must it be written? I don't want Poetry anyone so to really sentences. get their hands on it, sure although it doesn't reveal late. much. Just why I wanted to ask about... Yeah. Don't worry, I'm not gonna do anything stupid like hand it over or, uh, to someone who doesn't... It was a pleasure. Eh, got it. Mmm, I'm an idiot. And also lost. Oh, okay. Where am I? I am it. Okay. I don't think I've ever actually been this far into solitude, have I? Need something? Oh, the Dragonborn Gallery. I'm gonna guess Arden's probably been here. It seems like the kind of 
kind of thing he would yeah I'm sorry can I help you <laughs> the museum is currently closed until further notice sorry um I'm good thanks I'll be leaving Okay, that was embarrassing. Sure. I'm... Where does it say that it's closed? Anyway. Wow, I sound like a... I don't know what I sound like. Let's go see if Arden has found who he's looking for. I've been ignoring it until now, but I'm also worried about... Hmm? About Cayman? Not fair. What You're well did he get himself get into? Do you know I look forward to the burning of King Olaf each year just because of the fire? <laughs> burning of King Olaf? Torch bugs. Nice. So many torch bugs. You stay out of trouble now. The Castle Dower dungeon can break even the strongest will. Mm -hmm. I'm keeping out of trouble, I I hope. So, where did you say the, um... What good? Sorry, Gran, I'm coming. What were you, uh, what were you saying? I was gonna ask you where the, um, where you said the pirates were. There, I think, uh, North Shore, kind of. I suspect we're gonna want to have a break before we do that. Imperials. Always with the Imperials. That's the... what? Fourth patrol we've seen? I think? I I think so. Keep your eyes peeled, Mordgood. Oh? The Thalmor Embassy is around here somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised to find an, a, a... another... Thalmor patrol somewhere around here. There's usually one, at least. Wandering up and down that path where the Imperials were. That's great. Great to know. Don't want to worry you, but um, yeah, that's a thing. I really wish we could just. Ugh, I don't know. To say what I was thinking makes me sound kind of horrible, so I'm not going to say it. I hate solitude. And I don't care who knows it. <laughs> I just said that because you walked past a guard, huh? Yup. Great. So we'll bunker down for the night and then... Go deal with some pirates in the morning, how about that? Sounds oh, been tending your hounds? You smell like a wet dog. You're no basket of roses either. <laughs> Good on. that was a little bit rude. Eh, well. A coin or two for a veteran? 
It's not much to ask. It definitely smells like something around here. Not sure what. Being old's not so bad. Potter keeps me fed, and my working days are done. You know you can afford a septum or two. Gran? What is it? This is an old Smells like vampires in here. Protectors. Uh, what? Never mind. I was peeled, more good. Could be trouble. So, can you read it? Uh, well, kind of. It's dragon script, for sure. This is the first word I ever read. Wold. It means... Whirlwind. I know that one, too. Uh, the Greybeards taught me that one, actually. How do they do that? I mean... How do they learn the words? Long hours of meditation and practice, as far as I know. Lots of time communing with Kine up at the throat of the world. I don't like the look of this. Oh, Yarnvita! Uh, what brings you to solitude? Pirates. What are you doing with these two? Gran? Uh, you know these folks. I know her. This is that dragonborn I keep telling you about. These two are... We're waiting on a colleague. Miss Almazim here has been helping us with an analysis of ancient Nordic language, if you must know. We're on assignment from the College of Winterhold. Why? What did you expect? I have no quarrel with you, mage, as long as you and your lady here keep out of trouble. Yarnvita, come on now. You look like a companion. Am I wrong? I am. Then rest assured you have no reason to be on pest control duty here. Okay. Both of you. Gods, I know Skyrim is in a bit of a state right now, but we don't really need to reenact it in the middle of a tavern. Yarnvita, it's good to see you again, but I promise this does have something to do with protecting Whiterun. It's a tangent, but a relevant one. Miss... Uh... Gods, what should I call you? Dragonborn? Kinoa is fine. Hey, alright. Well, Kinoa and... Sir, I apologize for my gran here, it's been a long road, and she's... She's standing right here and can speak for herself, Mordgood. Sorry, Gran. Wait. You're Mordgood. Hey, Have you heard of me? Apologies, Yarnvita, I should have realized. I'm Ardenius Welk. Lobdier was on my expedition team back in Cyrodiil. Was? He's working out of Glen Umbra right at the moment. Still alive, lest you wonder. I was told to keep an eye out for the young Miss Mordgood here, but I can see she's... with family, at least. Wait. AM's kneecaps, that means you're the Archmage! AM's kneecaps? Yes, and if you'd keep it down, that would be much appreciated. Is Lothar aware of your... condition? No. Nor will he ever be. I must admit, I never expected to meet you. Given his age, well... I rather expected the Allmaker would have taken you home by now. Do not speak to me of the Allmaker, Imperial. I'm a scholar, Nord. I... Could you two please tone it down a notch? This is all very touching, but don't we have some more important things to worry about right now? Yes, I suppose you're right. Although I really don't want to leave here until I know what's going on with... Yeah. No offense, Kinoa, but we need someone like Hume to keep the vampires off our backs. Hold up. Are you with the Dawn Guard? The what? No, we aren't, but... I suspect we're on the same side, if only barely. How could someone like you be on the same side as the Dawn Guard? From what little I understand, they're trying to crack open a prophecy before something really, really bad happens. I mean, we both are, but mine requires me to be most of the way up a mountain to do it. Yes, it may surprise you to learn this, Skull, but I didn't choose this complexion willingly. I wouldn't say we're planning a coup, but there is certainly a lot going on behind the scenes that you don't need to concern yourself with. Try me, Imperial. If it's all the same to you, I'd rather not. I can smell you from here just fine, thanks. Arden! What? She's a... Never mind. Actually, I'd like to hear what's going on, too. I've been thinking about joining the Dawn Guard for a while now, and if there's something big and awful going on in Vampire Land, I might be able to help. Please do. What? what? Are you out of your mind? Let's just say I'd rest easier knowing there's at least one level head in their ranks that won't attack every vampire they see on sight. Provoked assaults are one thing, but I don't know what else I expected. 
The gist of it is that there's a very powerful vampire out there who seems hell-bent on taking over Tamriel, or at least Skyrim, and who managed to find a prophecy that may or may not play into that plan. There's a what? Which is why they're trying to figure it out before he does. At least I think that's what's going on. They don't want that to happen any more than we do, Yarnvita. Not like it'll matter much, I suspect. A wise man once told me prophecies are tricky. I'm guessing this one is less instruction and more metaphor. And what'll you do once you figure this thing out? If it's so important, what's going to stop you from using it? A conscience. And once we do decipher this, we're going to work like all oblivion to either keep the key out of the wrong hands or else remove those hands from the equation altogether. So having someone you trust in the Dawnguard would be a good idea, eh? If you need help, you could... Mordgut, do you even know what you're asking right now? Yes, Gran. I'm not a child anymore. I'm going to have to be super careful and... Oh, hello. Kanan! Where have you been? Gods, man, you scared the... Mm. Ah, oh, Mara, I can relax now. You were waiting for Cayman? You, you know, know him? him? Oh, wow. Yeesh, Red, this one did not realize you had quite so many friends. I think I'm the only one here completely out of the loop. Sure as balls, man, you smell like you just walked out of a... I know. Thought I washed most of it out, but... Holy... Sorry. Name's Cayman. Axe for hire. Kind of. What happened? Aye, and why do you sound like an Ashlander minus the accent? I. <laughs> Let's not go there, okay? And you are? Ah, uh, right. Um, Zay Test. This is Yarnvita and Mordgood, her granddaughter. Yarnvita, Mordgood, this is Zay Test, and that's Inigo. Pleased to meet you, I think. Are you two also mercenaries? Most days, yeah. We're, we're currently under contract, however. Aye, no worries. Gods, you really do sound like Lopdu. That's what I keep telling her. Okay, well. We all know each other, more or less. At least I know all of you, or most of you, and I think you all are good people. Debatable, but go on. No debate, not even for you. You're good people. And I think that while we're here, well... I wouldn't ask if we could all get along, because that's not fair of me, but can we at least call some kind of truce? Why on earth would we need to do that? Your attitude on entry, for example? I didn't know who you were or what you're up to, alright? You still don't. You're both proving her point. Fair. Go on. Besides, between Alduin the vampire thing and the fact that Skyrim on the whole is one bad day away from an all-out bloodbath between the Legion and the Stormcloaks, I think we all have enough to deal with without worrying about each other. I may not be the best judge of strength, but I've seen Zay test Arden and Cayman fight, and given that Yarnvid is a companion, I'm willing to make an educated guess. What, you don't think I could hold my own against- Oh, let's not have a hammer scoff measuring contest, there are adolescents at the table. She's not questioning your strength, Skull. Nobody is. I think we're just cutting down on the chances of misunderstanding in the future. And why would I trust this Imperial to keep his word after we leave the table? Woohoo, keep picking, lady. You trusted me to help avenge your friend's death, and I'm an elf. Look, we all have a much bigger problem to contend with than each other, no matter our opinions. You've all seen the dragons. Some, or all of you maybe, have fought them. I admit it's perhaps a bit paranoid and selfish on my part, but Arden is my friend. So is a test. So is Cayman, I think. Yarnvita, you and I share a common interest in keeping at least the people of Whiterun safe, if not the people of Skyrim in general. That's what Arden wants, too. All of us are on the same side, if not actively trusting of each other. I don't want to have to watch out for all of you and keep you from killing each other. You won't have a problem with me. I think anyone in this room could lay me flat on my backside faster than you could say Retching Nitch. This one overestimates the test. Basically, you don't want us to come across each other in the wild and mistake each other for a threat, right? Yes. Exactly. I'd ask Miss Gold if she'd agree to this as well, but I mean, what are the chances? I'm surprised you even remember her. Mm, let's just say she left something of an impression on me. From what I've seen of her, we don't need to worry. She can handle herself and pretty much everyone else at the table, up to and including Serana, if my judgement is correct. Seems like she'd rather talk than fight, however. Oh good. A woman after my own heart. I'll pass the message along anyway. 
That'll at least keep anyone safe who wanders too far astray on her turf. Safe? From what? Vampires. Oh, well, vampires are a bigger problem than I thought, eh? Why do you think we've been picking away at this problem so hard? Besides sheer bad luck on my part. You didn't have to come along. Well, I did anyway, and there's no going back now, is there? Boys, if you're going to have a lover's spat, quell Oh. Old Maris. Should have expected that. I'm beginning to think this was a stupid idea. No, 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 it's fine, I just... you know. M. Vazvar? Probably, but I'll deal with it later. All right. I accept your truce as long as the Skull does. I can't see what I'd gain from this, but... Well, considering how the two of you are getting along, I'd say if your paths cross again and I'm not around, you at least have some assurance that he isn't going to start something. And what if Galmar finally grows a pair and decides to accept an old lady into the Stormcloaks? You expect me not to fight him? Now look, I may be Calovian, but I'm not a legionnaire. There's a difference. Do what you will, Nord, and I'll stay out of your way unless you get in mine. Okay. Barring any war-related conflicts, maybe don't kill each other? I can't stop you from taking sides if that's what you want to do, but at least try to not actively hunt each other down. Considering I have bigger fish to fry right now? Deal. Fine. Fair enough. I'd do well not to cross anyone at this table. Won't have a problem from me. Nor this one. Inigo and I have our own purposes and we'll stay far out of the way as possible. I agree. Though, uh, are we going to have problems if I do join the Dawn Guard? I doubt it. I pray to Stendhal they never send you against us specifically, but if they do, well, we can always try to talk them out of it if you're around, I suppose. And failing that, you'll survive, but I can't promise the same for anyone they send with you. That sounds... reasonable and terrifying. That would be Kaemon in a nutshell, yeah. Good. And obviously no one's gonna have a problem with me. I don't have a dog in any of these fights unless they involve big scaly bastards with wings, so... I'm not gonna pick a side in the war until the dragons are taken care of, if ever, which... will certainly take some doing and may well be the death of me. You know, if you ever need an extra blade in your fight, you can call on me. Uh, th thanks? <laughs> I kinda thought you hated me. No, I'm just... Old and protective of people, white run included. Vera Riaza, our Tasbetov. <laughs> Cayman! It goes for both of you. Krelnavoy. No comment. Miss Izmir, if you ever need an archer, you can call on the test. She may not be the most uh, robust individual, but she can certainly shoot a dragon in the eye from a safe fish distance. Thank you, Z. And if you ever need a shield to stand behind, you know who to call. All right, well, it was lovely meeting all of you, but since the resident Cyclops is here, I think we'd best take a leave. <laughs> it was good to see you again, Mr. Archmage. Aye, and I'm serious about the Dongar, by the way. I've got a few issues to sort out first, but I think I'm going to do it. Conviction is good. Just don't get her to killed on the way. What do would have my hide if your grandmother here doesn't get to me first? You know it, Imperial. I'll be here. Take care of yourself. All three of you. Always a pleasure, Ismir. Yardvita. Z? Yes, yes, this one has her own business, and she will be more than a bit careful this time, no? Go do your thing, Red. Huh. Inigo? Threat still stands. There's a story. I'll tell you on the way. Seriously, though, what? he sounds like an Ashlander. It's a wee bit disconcerting, honestly. Eh, well, too much smoke will do that wee person. His story to tell, not mine. But, ah, oh, Vivek, I should have asked Mr. Welk about... Eh, never mind. Are you okay with all this, Yarnvita? I know that... Well, if vampires ever attack Whiterun, we're both gonna be fighting them back. I doubt either of them ever would, but... I don't think Kaemon would. The mage? I'm not so sure about him. From what I've seen of him, you wouldn't hurt a fly unless pressed. Don't let the armor fool you. He is very much as his family name would imply, this one thinks. Big tough shell on the outside, soft and squishy on the inside. <laughs> yeah, that about sums him up. So what brings you to Solitude, Miss Izmir? More sneaky business? No, nope. prophecies. Scrolls, dragon hunting, bard's college. You're a bard? Uh, well, I mean... What you play? I, uh... Mordgut, down girl. Gran! The dragonborn is a bard! 
Not only does she have the voice, but she has a voice too. This is great. I, uh, I mean, I've sung a bit on the road and plucked a few lute strings here and there, but I've never actually performed somewhere before, so I don't even know if I'm any good. Ooh, hear that, Inigo? Perhaps the two of you should do a rendition of Ragnar the Red. Oh, uh, uh, God. Uh. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> okay, well, um... Let me just go make sure it's okay with Lynette first. I'd rather not step on her toes, you know? Ooh, this is gonna be good. You sure you're alright? I'm fine. It's fine. Jan Vita just... Well, Lopte told us why he left Solstein back in the day, and it never really left me. She pisses me off because of how she treated him, but... Yes. I suppose I'm alright with being amicable. Good. She's not a bad person, Arden. Yes, alright, enough about her. What in oblivion happened to you? That letter scared the bloody daylights out of me. Gods, I thought I was gonna lose... My mind. Or my head, depending on Miss Gold's reaction. Luckily, Kinoa was there to at least distract me, but... Hockey's balls, man! Sorry. I didn't want to worry you, but... I didn't want you to wait around not knowing, either. Thank you, I... Been there, done that. To be honest, I probably would have waited a week just to be sure. Even with three Elder Scrolls and an impatient vampire lord hanging over your back? Fair. I'm sure Serana would have egged me into it eventually. Happened anyway. She told me you collapsed and then stormed off, and and you smell like you just came out of a burning building. Uh, sorry. I didn't mean. No, you're right. I, I did. You're right. Uh, the burning building. Yes, I. I'll tell you about it eventually. I think. But right now, it's still... I wish I couldn't smell it. It's... A cruel reminder of previous fuck-ups, for one thing. Uh, sorry. I didn't... Yeah. Curiosity killed the Colovian and all that. I think I need to sit down for a minute. Are you alright? Breathing. Trying to. It's... No can't. Ah, oh, shit. Yep, we're sitting down. Come on. Uh, Serana, just stand over there and be scary looking, okay? I am so sorry. I didn't mean to... Not your fault. I... I don't do well with fires. It's... It's how I lost my voice. Some luck you found me, then, huh? To say nothing of Kinoa. She doesn't breathe fire, far as I know. Actually, she can, but... She seems to prefer shouting things and or people off high ledges better. How do you know her, anyway? We... We met when I... Well, non I still smell like smoke. <laughs> I... Sorry. No, 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 I'm sorry. You take your time. I'll shut up. And, uh, I'm gonna pretend you didn't just tell me to... Right, sorry. Forgot you speak... Vosmeris. Actually, I don't, but it seems similar enough to Sirotis at Alienoon that. Hey, hear that? Hmm? Different tuning, is that? Our hero, our hero, claims a warrior's heart. I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. The voice wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe the dragonborn comes. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware the dragonborn. has passed and the legend yet grows you'll know you'll know the dragon
dragonborn's come.